All right, so now we have TJ Perkins out of the package. <clears throat> and guys, he I think he looks really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Definitely a couple small gripes I have with this figure, but overall, I think he's pretty nice. I I dig the face scan. I think it uh I think it somewhat resembles him. I think it's maybe a little off. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I think it's a little bit off to me. It just doesn't seem like it's quite like it's quite there. But uh, oh, hold on a sec, guys. There we go. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like it's quite there. Uh, issue number one: torso, a little bit of paint rub. It's not a big deal, but uh, it's it's annoying. It's annoying nonetheless. Now looking at the tr gear, man, it's really nice. Very bright, very colorful. Very colorful. You can see he's got the all the little stars and they're painted nicely for the most part. Not too much paint rub going on. And I really like how all the different colors like blend in. Like the the white you can see stands out really nice. That's a the white stands out very nice on the yellow and the blue pops out pretty good and the red is pretty good as you can see there's a little bit like right on the top with the blue definitely looks a bit rough right there same thing on there but not too bad a little bit better on the bottom but yeah definitely kind of rough on the top same with the red you can see some of the red is kind of chipping away but it is pretty nice i i do uh I think he, the legs are a little off, like, like, okay, you want it to kind of match up, but then it's like, he won't stand, like that, so, maybe this is just mine, like, you can, you can let me know in the comments if yours does the same, but for mine to get him to stand, you kind of have to break up that sculpt, and I kind of hate that. Yeah, even that he doesn't stand too well. His ankles, his ankles are pretty stiff. He is definitely going to be getting a hot water bath, for sure. But uh, on the wrist, all the tape looks pretty nice. I can't complain about that. And uh, torso, aside from the one little area right there, not too much to talk about. So looking at his articulation, the head moves up and down. You get a little bit of up, but you get a bit more down. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There, there. You get a little bit of up and down, but definitely you get more up than down. So side to side, no issues there. Of course, they ball peg for the shoulders. And, oh. Phew. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, shoulders and move about this far forward. Uh, about this far back so pretty good and of course he has the upper arm swivel single jointed elbow cuz <coughs> excuse me Mattel doesn't know shit about articulation and he has wrist rotation and wrist hinge and that works pretty good for the torso your standard ab crunch looks down pretty far but it doesn't move up of course waist twist pretty good double ball peg for the hips they move out this far and he can kick this far forward and somewhat that far back but more like that far back he has double jointed knees and, and of course he does have the boot swivel now he's supposed to have ankle hinges and ankle rockers but uh, yeah, like I said, mine are like really, really stiff. I'm not going to force them right now because I don't want them to break. But uh, he, he should have that articulation. He does have that articulation. It's just very stiff on mine. Like I said, I don't want it to break. Now, the accessories he comes with. He comes with the metal for the Cruiserweight Classic. Can you see that? So that looks nice and pretty good with the paint. I don't know why. The W is like all black, but nothing else is. 
that's a little weird to me that's a mistake now this wasn't the medal he got when he won i think they gave this to like the quarter finalists so uh or the the finalists like i think he got one and i think grand metallic also got one but it looks pretty good nonetheless there's a lot of detail can you see that yeah i think they did cram a lot of detail in there and it looks pretty nice and he comes with a brand new cruiserweight championship again really really nice i really like the purple on the silver makes it stand out really well and uh yeah i like the color it looks pretty cool so pretty decent the only issue i have is the uh, can you see that the plate seems to be coming off it was just like that yeah see it was like that out of package so definitely disappointed by that uh like it's not really to the degree even like the side plates kind of same issue you can kind of push it in but it doesn't really stay so uh yeah i don't know i was very i was very disappointed with that i feel like i don't know is just just is this just the quality that mattel is going to give us now i know they're supposed to release a lot of other figures that come with this title and uh i find myself hoping that those ones will be better because yeah like i said i don't know is this just a, is this just a mattel quality or did I just get a bad one? If you got one and it's not that bad, let me know in the comments. And uh, that'll be that. So overall, do I think TJP is worth a pickup? This one this is, of course, the Network Spotlight one. I say yeah. I say yeah, because he is pretty cool. It is an elite TJP. He went straight to elite, so that's pretty cool. And it is a nice figure. I really like the ring gear. I really like all the different colors, how they kind of pop. It all stands out really nice. So definitely digging that. And the cruiserweight title is cool to have. And so is the necklace. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this guy is definitely worth a pickup. I don't, I don't think you'll be super disappointed with him. But at the same time, I don't think he, he's just kind of on the middle. He's just kind of in the middle. I don't think he'll blow your expectations away, but I don't think he'll let you down either. So check him out. If you find him, pick him up. I don't know if it's only at True. I, I those here here in Canada, those network spotlight figures don't seem to show up at Walmart. So maybe those are just True exclusives. I don't know how it is in the states, but that's how it is here. So uh, all right, guys. Thank you again for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. Please don't forget, like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment because I love to hear from you guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. When you do, you leave me a comment, you tell me that you subscribed and I can go return that subscription to you. I think that's a fair deal. Is it not? Is it wrong? I think that's pretty fair, guys. I think that's fair. So please do all that. Check me out on social media. I will leave all the social media links in the description below. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so you can find me there. And uh, interact with me. Send me a PM, tweet me, whatever. Again, I love to hear from you guys, so definitely do all that. And I will catch you guys next time with another brand new figure review. So have a great day, and goodbye.